Good day to everyone. My name is Diego Gutierrez Oribio, and I will present to you our work title, Robust Tracking for the Diffusion Equation Using Sliding Mode Boundary Control. This result is a joint effort of Ecole Centrale de Nantes and CICESE under the supervision of professors Yuri Orlov, Ioannis Stefano, and Fran Pleston. This paper was supported by the European Research Council as part of the project called Coquake by Atlantic 2020, Ivan it. This presentation is organized as follows. We will present first the importance of the diffusion process, the state of the art, and the control objective. Then we will show the steps of the boundary control design. First, the use motion planning, and second, the robust tracking controls. Some simulations will demonstrate the reliability of the design control, and we will finish with the conclusions of our work. The diffusion equation is a parabolic PDE that can be found in many applications, like in chemical reactions, population growth, heat transfer, fluid flow, and energy production. This image shows how the fluid injection has been recently studied as a mechanism to control earthquakes due to the fault movement. Roughly speaking, we could divide the boundary control results for the diffusion equation into two types. A nominal design where there are no uncertainties and or disturbances present in the system. And a robust design where the design control must be able to compensate these perturbations. Concerning the fifth category, we could find, for instance, many results using backstepping approach. Yet, more realistic models require the presence of uncertainties in the system parameters or external perturbations affecting the dynamics. Inside the robust design examples, there exists works that require auxiliary systems or the measurement of the state throughout all the space domain. Therefore, simpler robust boundary controllers are needed and one possibility could be the sliding mode control, which is well known to be robust against some kind of perturbations and its gains could be easily tuned. The considered 1D diffusion equation is shown here where the state is represented as U and the parameter D represents the thermal diffusivity. T is the time and X is the space variable, which can take values from zero to D. This system has only Neumann boundary conditions. At X equal to zero, the flux is zero and at X equal to D, the flux control input Q and the external perturbation bar phi are located. The objective in this work is to design the control input Q in order to perform a tracking over the state at x equal to zero to a desired reference R. Such control design must be done by only measuring the state at x equal to D and must be robust against the Lipschitz disturbance bar phi and considering uncertainties in the system parameter D and capital D. Let us start with the obtention of a reference profile for the diffusion equation ruled by the output reference R. Following the work of Laroche et al. 2000, the reference profile and the nominal control can be obtained from the reference RT and all its derivatives, as shown in this slide. This motion planning approach is successful if the reference is Gibri of an adequate order, there are no uncertainties or perturbations in the system, and the initial condition is set the same as the reference profile. Therefore, in order to robustify the open loop motion planning, a robust feedback control is required. For this purpose, an error variable is introduced, which is consistent with our tracking goal and with the boundary condition at x equal to zero. The error dynamics is then obtained where the new control input Q tilde 
must stabilize the closed loop despite the external perturbation bar phi and starting from any initial condition. Such control input was assigned as a PI algorithm plus a discontinuous integral term. The PI terms will stabilize the system origin, whereas the discontinuous term copes with the perturbation. This algorithm only requires the feedback from the boundary x equal to d, and it generates a continuous control signal, reducing the chattering effect. The main result of our work is stated as follows. The closed loop error system shown in this slide is globally exponentially stable despite the presence of lipsids with respect to the time disturbances, if the control gains are designed as shown. Note how we only require to know the bounds of the parameter uncertainties and the disturbance Lipschitz constant in order to design the control. In order to prove the global stability of the closed loop error system, we have used a positive definite and radially unbounded Lyapunov functional as shown in this slide. After some calculations, its time derivative shows an exponential stability of the error trajectories, with the convergence rate depending on the system parameters and on the control gains. We will present now the simulations made over the diffusion equation, where four kinds of references to be followed were selected depending on simulation time a linear reference, a constant reference, an exponential reference, and a sinusoidal reference. The diffusion equation was implemented in MATLAB using the finite differences approximation and a sampling time equal to 50 milliseconds. The control was designed according to the presented theorem, taking into account the uncertainties in the system parameters and the unbounded but Lipschitz perturbation. The tracking over the four types of references is obtained, showing how the diffusion equation state is forced to follow the reference profile over all the space variable. In particular, the output u at x equal to zero follows the desired reference rt throughout all the simulation, despite the presence of the Lipschitz perturbation. Furthermore, the norm of the error tends exponentially to zero, even with the abrupt change of references to be followed. The control signal generated is always continuous and can perform the tracking over the diffusion equation suppressing the effect of the unbounded but Lipschitz perturbation. An additional case when the motion planning is performed with uncertain parameters was taken into account. In such scenario, the obtained reference profile presents an error, but the robust tracking control is able to keep the error norm bounded. To conclude this presentation, we will discuss the obtained results. We use the motion planning of La Roche et al. 2000 to obtain a reference profile for the nominal diffusion equation, ruled by the output reference R of t and all its derivatives. Such reference must be jibri for the motion planning to work. Then the global exponential stability of the tracking error is obtained by means of a PI plus discontinuous integral boundary control. Such algorithm is able to reject Lipschitz with respect to the time disturbances and uncertainties in the model by using a continuous control signal. The designed control only needs information at the boundary which minimize the needed measurements. On addition, 
Simulations provide some evidence of the possibility of keeping the tracking resolved despite performing the motion planning for the uncertain system. The current work is focused on a new motion planning for the uncertain diffusion equation and with no restrictions over the output reference. Furthermore, the control of higher dimensions diffusion equations with advection and reaction terms is also in progress. These results might have already been solved by the date of this presentation, so be sure to keep an eye on archive. On behalf of the authors, I would like to thank you all for your attention, and we would like to invite you to check these and other interesting results in our official Coquake site. Thank you.